Hey, what's up, everybody? Hopefully, everyone's having a uh, a good weekend. It's a uh, a nice sunny Sunday morning, or almost afternoon here in good old Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I just did a, a kind of a primer on Fibonacci, and one of the things that was brought up was the confusion between using the tool that TradingView put on there for the Fib retracements to where you can do uh, the retracements uh, using the log scale uh, versus the linear scale that it, that it normally comes with. Uh, and I wanted to kind of give a little bit of insight of what I do. Um, I don't know, this definitely isn't a right or wrong, um, but just off of my experience, this is, uh, this is how I approach it. And I know this is going to be probably a little bit of, you know, controversial, but I'm going to say when you use fib retracements uh, and you use that tool, I will never use, uh, I shouldn't say never, um, but because I haven't really dug into it too much, but uh, I feel that the fib retracements in the log scale is worthless uh, to me. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a quick explanation why. Um, now, when it comes to the actual log scale and linear scale of the chart itself, um, it makes sense when you look at you know longer term time frames and especially with markets that are volatile. Uh, right now, I have the scale in log, uh, and this is just a weekly chart, so we're looking at a little bit long term here on, on Bitcoin. Uh, you know, so you can see some price action that happened you know in the low 100s of even up to 850. So you can see some price action here. Because when you put this into a normal linear scale, you get you get all of this down here, and you can't really tell uh, what's really going on in, in the price action. You know, because linear scale is based on absolute movement, and the log is based on percentage gain and loss. So, uh, so you can't really see down here. So when it, when it comes to charting itself, uh, I actually use the log scale uh, in law in really I use it in all time frames. Every once in a while, I'll use the linear scale uh, on very near term time frames. Uh, in the absolute because when you look at real near, near term uh, when you look at the log versus the uh, linear there's really not that much difference in the near term uh, but sometimes when I'm drawing some trend lines and those kind of things in the very near term uh, I'll use the linear chart uh, but I would say 90% of the time I'm in the log scale uh, for all of my TA again not right or wrong just something that I, that I use uh, all the time uh, so Let's go. Let's let's kind of talk about the fib retracements, um, ver, you know, linear versus log when you actually use the tool. Uh, let's start off in the really near term time frame. So let's look at like an hourly. Let me pull this up. And of course, I'm going to leave all of my uh, charts in log scale. So you know, the logarithmic scale here on TradingView, it's going to be in the log scale, so we can see price action. Uh, a little better now of course in this near-term time frame you're not going to see much difference uh, but let's look at the hourly here and let's play around with the fib tool uh, and, and and get a feel for the difference between uh, you know the the uh, log scale and the linear scale so let's just go back to like what is this the the, uh, the low here uh, back in October uh, 7th I think it was uh, and then you go to the high here all right and I got the Magnet on so we can kind of get the highs and lows exact. Um, and this one right now, this tool, when you go into settings, down here it says FIB levels based on log scale. And this to me is what I feel like this tool right here is kind of worthless to me. Uh, really because um, uh, I, I look at, when, when I apply the FIB grid on a price chart, I look at them kind of scaled independently of price. Because uh, to me, fibs are not about prices. It's all about their proportion. Um, you know, a fib grid should always, to me, should always be linear. Um, while the price scale, to me, I, I like it in the log scale just because, uh, you know, just because of the, you know, the price action. So you can see it a little bit better in percentage terms. But when it comes to the actual fib retracements, I like the linear scale uh, because, again, independent of price, and I'm looking for that proportion. Um, and to me, uh, when you look back historically, uh, the when you when you do some analysis historically on price charts, and you look back 
uh, the linear scale on the tool itself works really well for support and resistance levels. Uh, you know, it's just the way I apply it. If you guys want, you know, of course, do your own homework, check it, you know, check history, see how people have reacted off of the fib levels uh, in all different time frames, but using the linear scale. Uh, if, the, if if somebody has a really good uh, uh, use of the fib levels on a log scale when you're putting the grid on the on the price chart, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'm not saying that it's the wrong way to do it. I just have not found a really uh, strong way to uh, uh, to use it for any for anything. So I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna check this on most of my analysis on, on all of my analysis because uh, I, I personally think it's worthless. Uh, but let's um, there th this one's here is on the linear scale, uh, and of course let's put another one on here, starting the low, go up to the high. Right, if I can get it here, right there. Uh, oh, must have missed it. Should match up. What in the hell is wrong with this thing? There we go. Um, all right, and then if we go to settings here and turn this one over to a log scale on the fib, as you can, here, let's uh, let's make one of these a different color, so you can see a little better. There we go. Um, see, that's why if you use the log scale in the near term for near term trading, because this is an hourly chart, um, uh, or even when, when you're in a price range, it's pretty tight. Um, you're not going to get much difference between the two. Uh, as you can see, these are, you know, maybe $10 different, uh, you know, when it comes to that, where the actual FIB levels are. Uh, so in near term, I, I don't really see a difference. It's when you start to get into a little bit more you know, longer term. So in near term, you can use either one. I'm going to stick to the linear because uh, that's what I know and that's how I've, I've applied my analysis for years. Uh, but, you know, you can use either one uh, and just see what works for you. You know, kind of tie them in with indicators, tie them in with some moving averages, those kind of things, see, see which one work, works better for you. Uh, but it, but if you take, if you take, um, if, you, if you move out to a little bit more longer term time frame, uh, for for maybe your you know swing trading or a little bit more longer term type trading, uh, let me uh, move to a daily here. Let's move. Here we go. Uh, keeping keeping the axis on log scale. Uh, I am going to look at the high and low. Let's go back to the December low and then up to the high here. Uh, and let's use, let's put in the FIB retracement here, right there, to the high or there, and let's make this first one the the linear scale. Um, to me, this is the one I'm going to use because I want that I want that proportion. I, I I'm not really looking for the percentage change uh, for the log on this. Uh, so for me. Uh, the the kind of the the two levels that I'm looking at is right around 97.70, which you know when when you look at this range in here, you can see there's a lot of uh, support in here, and then it finally kind of you know it kind of tested a little bit down, tested a little bit down, but then it finally broke, and then and then 61.8 percent level is going to be that next level that I'm that you know that is the golden ratio to look at for a downside. Um, you know, not to say that it's going to get there. Of course, you want to you know if you watched my previous video, you can see. Uh, on how to apply some other moving averages or or indicators to help determine if it's going to go out to the next uh, support and resistance level and in this case this would be the next support level uh, but this is the linear linear level that I would that I would put a lot more faith in uh, to be a next key or critical uh, support level in the market so now when we if we take another one uh, and put the put it uh, put it at the same spot like that and then let's change this one over to uh, let's make it red so we can see it and then let's make it log scale as you can see on here this red gives you a log the log scale gives you all the way down here to 5520 now does this mean something I don't know uh, to me it's kind of worthless um, I mean you can I, I'd love for somebody to you know message me and give me some reasons on why they would use this. Um, I haven't really found a good reason, um, but 
for for because uh, I like again I, I know it's kind of hard to explain but I I like it I like to look at fibs as independent of price I'm looking at that I'm looking for uh, for the patterns uh, I'm looking for that emotion um, looking for the trends I'm looking for reversals those kind of things I'm not really concerned about price uh, when it comes to this now you know when it comes to price you know I'll use other you know entry and exit points for for when it comes to where the prices are and that's a whole different ballgame uh, but I'm going to stick to uh, the linear side of things, um, and and let's see, we can we can uh, and of course you know the long the longer you go out on time frame, um, you know, let's go out here, let's go out to a weekly, and let's look at uh, let's look at some really long really long term uh, time frame on the linear. Let's see, let's do this one here. This one's going to be the log scale, I believe. Yeah, the, the red's going to be the log scale. Um, and then let's put another one in here. Right there. And let's move this one to, let's make it blue. And let's do it linear there. So when you look at it from, when you look at the linear on the blue, um, uh, let's take these out because it gets confusing. Here's the linear on the, on the blue. So when you're looking at absolute moves, um, the 61.8% right, right at here, um, to me, uh, seems like a pretty interesting level of, of support. Um, now, of course, you're going to, we're going to look at all different, all different areas and time frames and everything. So you can, you, you can look at, uh, a movement from here, from here, um, and do your analysis all over the place. Uh, but, you know, just, I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it's kind of a different type of a, a look. But I, when it comes to the overall summary here is log scale, I like on the price chart itself. Uh, just because I like to see the chart in percentage terms. Uh, every once in a while, I'll do a linear scale on really near-term time frames. Um, uh, but most of the time, it's going to be log scale, uh, just because that's what I've been used to for many, many years. Uh, but then when you use the FIB tool, um, I am all about the linear scale. Uh, so I'm never going to really use that FIB scale on the actual retracements itself. Uh, because I think it's independent of price, and fibs are not about prices to me. No, it's it's it, they're about the proportion. So that's kind of the summary of that. Hopefully, you got something out of this. I know it's kind of confusing. I would love to hear feedback. I'm sure I will, because there's going to be people go, Brian, you're a freaking idiot. You should do this. You should do that. Uh, again, not right or wrong. Um, it's just the way I apply things. Um, and if you have a good case for using the fib tool. Um, I would love to see it, um, not because I mean there could be a there could be some amazing analysis being used with it. Um, just never really dove into it. So uh, if you have some, throw it out my way. Uh, any questions, comments? Let me know. Fibo Swanee out on Twitter. Uh, you know that's where you can reach me. So enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of this weekend, and happy trading and peace out.